Hello, welcome to episode 45 of Transformers, the show. On today's show, we've got loads of news. We've got X-Men crossed with uh, Transformers. We've got fans, Hobby, Nightbeat. Uh, we have New Age, uh, Karate, Scaramanga. We may have made that one up. We've got x Transbots Cup, uh, Mech Fans Toys. They've got uh, Road Rage and Springer to look at. Uh, New Age, Galvatron. God, so much news. And Transformers are even turning up in Liddles, of all places, but in the US. Uh, we've also got a review of uh, Magic Square Peach, uh, plus loads of discussion. Uh, we're going to do a Borders dude reply because his uh, his discussion piece was, do Transformers that don't transform, are they actually real Transformers? We'll talk about that. Uh, plus we've got loads of pickups. So off we go. Starting off with the news. First of all, let me introduce my host. I've got Alexis, Jamie and Andy and I am Paul, your host. Time for the news. I talk some TV and now the news. Don't touch that dial. We have here a rare... Shadow's Falcon. Well, I will let our fans guess who this is if they haven't seen it yet. Mechanic Toys. We've got the pictures. We do so have the pictures, but the we'll, leave, week, we'll, we leave, the, we'll leave them in anticipation until right, we get so to that who point. Is it? At, the end, at the end. Into the news. Five seconds. Into news. We have. Um, this is part of Mechanic Toys. Again, they're releasing the um, red version, the alter alternative version of Trax, which is Road Rage and. Who did Blaster turn into after he changed this? I can't remember it was blue anyway, but they've got it in red. So, Flight Mode 2. There he is. The actual track speed. isn't out yet, is it? They're just showing... No, you can pre-order him. So you can pre-order him from multiple websites. It was kind of a new um, age tactic, isn't it? Release loads of yeah. versions. Are, the, to be honest, these guys are actually... Yeah, they are. I mean, as I said, mech fan stories, right? And I always said fan stories do a lot of... <laughs> it's just too, too, too easy to be true, right? It could be the same company in my head, but... Um, they do a lot so is this of, uh, legend movies. size? Yeah, this is legend size tracks. To be honest, the the, the MP tracks is road rage. Piece of shit. Is it not road rage? Or is it a wee paint of tracks? Yes, it's road it's, rage. It's road it's, rage. It is. Don't give me computer rage. Don't miss gender, Alexis. Not in this day and age. Loads of oh. legends news this week. So this is fans' toys showing off their um, combined mode for Motormaster. Um, so you can see where he's going to pop into. Um, into here, underneath here it looks like. Um, there's been a lot of rumours about fans toys recently. I think they came out recently and said they are going to complete the combines. They are having trouble with the arm bots. They've released everything apart from the arm bots. Um, if you look at a lot of the actual combines which have been released by third parties, the challenge has always been that they tend to have sort of like monkey arms. Their arms are too big. And if you look at proportion sizes, even on the MMC, they are the proportions on like the arm bots are just wonky and like they're off like the Flies are too big because you've got to have legs and arms almost the same size. It just doesn't quite work. So they're trying to work out a way around that, and they're quite clever engineering fans toys to manage to get the the MP car, the MP sorry, the cars the same size as the MP cars, but when they transformed, they were a good inch bigger. So wouldn't every gentleman love that transformation? Then we've got pictures of especially the French. <laughs> your, <generation. laughs> your mother was a your mother smells and your and your father smelled of elderberries. Your mother smelled of elderberries. Again, second time I've said Nothing but love for you, France. And sorry, Monty Python, for that Doesn't poor, mean. poor attempt. But the next time you Germans in bed, could you just deal with it yourself for once, please? <laughs> so this, this is, uh, this is uh, New Age um, Galvatron. Cheesy um, and surrender monkeys. It came out and everyone thought this <laughs> looked like the MP version of fans' toys. And it does. It's the metallic paint. The paint on New Age does knock out the park. Oh, that's um, awesome. But you, can see it, you can see it's on the New Age flight stand, to which um, Mr. Farrelly pointed out to me. It's got a lovely V sign for, for victory, so appropriate war comment there, Jamie. Uh, and then this, <laughs> is the, this is the next... 
uh, uh, crossover. So X Formers, the Uncanny X Men. Um, that's something. That's not it. That's not it. Where's it gone? <laughs> it's the the quit the Quinjet, no, the X Jet, the Blackbird, and you get little versions of Wolverine and Sabretooth. That looks good, doesn't uh, it? Both both it versions. Does. Of trans- I thought it was really good. especially after I, I didn't like the Ectotron. Any of the crossovers so far didn't like the bloody um what's it called? Top the, Gun one. Top Gun one, yeah. That, that uh, a bit uh, the, the plane looks good, but the yeah. robot mode looks abysmal. You know, so, all of them, got this it. one looks good in both modes. Well, or so, you see. A quick yeah, question: crossovers. Have they committed to doing like they've done four this year, haven't they? They've done the. Ecto, they've done the Top Gun. This is X Men now. They did My Little Pony. Did they, have they done anything else that we're missing? That's four in one year. Really right? help, uh, Hasbro got the license to those. The Power Rangers. They haven't done Power Rangers, I don't think. It's yeah, ever since they Power bought. I don't want Power Saban. Rangers for. I think well, we should Zord. draw a line. You get a good Zord. And you I can think see we should the... draw a line somewhere. I think well, we should just say no. <laughs> Care Bears. I'd rather have Care Bears. I'd rather have more Transformers. Yeah. But there you go. And cool, you can right, have more Transformers with Care Bears. There you go, in his... Look, that looks decent. So he's a sort of a Wolverine-Cyclops combination, really, isn't he? Because he has the, the claws, but he also has the visor, which pops up and down as well. Mm. Oh, well, observed. I didn't know it, so I just looked like Cyclops to me. But it is... It is um, it's rather well done. So, yes. I mean, you can always... It's, I mean, the way his colours are, it's almost like Psylocke, isn't it? With the, the beams that came out of her hand, really, but... Um, but it's, I mean, is I he, think he's an Autobot, isn't he? Is he an Autobot? It doesn't have a symbol. He has the he has the X symbol. Yeah, he won't have a faction symbol. But it is a new mold, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good mold. Because you would have thought they would have just been lazy and used like the Jetfire movie um, mold, wouldn't you? Yeah. It's it's actually it looks actually like a really decent mold. Yeah, good for you. But even better if we could actually get it in the UK. I'm going to hold my well done back until I know for sure. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Look at this amazing thing we've done, which we won't sell to you. Yes. Tax our fucking team, would you, you bastards? No. <laughs> very, very quick update from fans' hobby. We won't dwell on this. They've just got a deck update showing the actual the, the flame um, on the side of their Nightwalker, aka Nightbeat, there, which we'll move on from. Um, I can't show all of this. Nightwalker seems a bit dodgy to me, I think. And it still <laughs> yeah. looks really similar to Athena. I know this that. is saying that Bumblebee 2 has trumped Beast Wars from uh, um, and this is Mr. Cable. I'm just reading what he says. So read bit, so. uh, Stephen Cable Jr. has been chosen to be the um, um, director, apparently. So Yeah, we're just hoping yeah. it's not going to be another situation of where the director you know, ruined the old Batman. Mm. What was the name of the director again? Oh, I've forgotten that. It was German. Joel Schumacher? Yeah, is he German? Schumacher. I think he might have been. Yeah, yeah the German. Germans. Uh, you know. <laughs> really on the <laughs> So we have got. I thought this was New Age as a starting point, and Dame Chock kindly corrected me. And this is actually going to be a re-release of Mech Fans Toys Dinobots. Look at um, the corner, the bottom left-hand corner. That's the Mech Fans Toys alternate symbol. That one there. Yeah, they use that in a it's, lot of stuff. No, it's because I read this New Ayla, and I thought, is that New Age in? Is, that just, is it just how we pronounce it, New Age? Or is that New Ayla? That's what I read, because that's right on the box as well. So I couldn't see that. I yeah, they're confusing, aren't they? That. MFT, they'll use all different branding. Well, it's just mental. a re-release then. Yeah, so it's a release. So I, I didn't get these. They, they're about, you can, if you're lucky, you can pick them up. I send them advertising eBay as a group um, <clears throat> for about £100. Um, but they're, they're sort of like the the Legends Plus. So they are quite What do you mean by Legends chunky. Plus? At this so, size, uh, if I get a uh... cat. So this <laughs> is... okay. Hang on, let, me, let, me, let me stop sharing so we can see what you're doing here. We just pin your video. So that's uh, Mech Fans Toys Grimlock uh, in the original uh, G1 cartoon colours. Yeah. I bent from uh, bent <laughs> bent. <this. laughs> I purchased this from Ben's Collectibles, and um, that's a masterpiece Bumblebee. So that's how oh, we wow. so he's quite big then. Yeah. So he's legend. He's meant to be legend size. They are big. They're probably the biggest legend size. Transformers you can get. It doesn't fit if in robot mode because if you look, he will then be really the same good. size. He'll be the same size as your Iron Factory Jetfire, won't he? Same height. Yeah. Because I've got the the DX9 version, which is smaller. Well, I don't know, and... probably slightly smaller than Scorpionock and Jetfire. There we go. 
So I'm still disappointed, Paul. You had no cats in your scale video, so yeah, the cat had everything. You know. There's no prep. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm, most of that, I'm looking forward to the Bumblebee two movie. At least we're getting one. Mm. You know, and yeah. the director, we didn't say, but he's done a good job with Creed in the sense. I liked it, and it's well. If I liked it, it must have been a good film. But um, the it thing was, Creed was two, is, wasn't it? Yeah, Creed two. But the, the Creed two, Creed two was, was good. Was the fact he said he, he did something different that you wouldn't expect. You know, took away the and focused on the, the other guys for once, rather mm. than what you think would be the main characters. <laughs> so we should have a little. We should have a little sweepstake, gents. Maybe put it in, and uh, who, we all put in three Transformers each, so you get a little bit of a little bit of luck in there. Which Transformers do we think will be in Bumblebee Two? And uh, we're, I we're hope it's Transformers, because I think the big worry is that someone from the industry said, and I hope it's just a passing comment. Oh, he's very good at dealing with human emotions and stuff like that. And I was thinking, I don't want humans involved. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just as roadkill, I want Transformers. So this do we know is... what this is then. Yes, uh, Scar- I think this it's is Karate this is... Car- Scaramanga. Yeah. Was that the official name? No, that's the name no. he, that uh, <laughs> Lexus made up before. <laughs> Can't so remember what it's called. It's basically a, re- it's it's a repaint. Age, if you, if you, it's new age. They've, they've done like 20 different oh, colors of this, okay. so we'll, we'll move on. Um, the first is... I thought that was like Fortress Maximus because of Paul's message when he was this doing is... that cover joke. That's Aldi in America, isn't it? That's it. So as Paul calls it Lidl, but it's Aldi. <laughs> it's very so... similar. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> Well, one German company is the same as another to Paul. That's it. <laughs> the, Just go down there, those Germans, aren't you? <laughs> all these other places that Paul avoids. Um, so, yeah, so there's in America. America. So, if you do shop at Aldi at all in, America. in the UK, or in, in America. the UK, if you live in America. Yeah. So, shout out to America there. Um, and then we've got X Transbots Cup, who looks pretty actually good because I think there was complaints about the size of his portions of his legs initially, but I think he actually looks pretty yeah, damn really spot on. Good. I don't know, um, his chest pretty huge, isn't it? It's like cops been working out. He's got abs, look, he got, he's got abs as well. Yeah. It's not like a gut. If, if you can't see the pictures here on our YouTube channel, then you should check out the pictures on our Instagram or our Twitter. They're much clearer, much bigger, and there's more of them as I well. I think the masculine uh, cup. I think masculine right. and I, and that, Yeah, oh, no. I, I couldn't <laughs> find a way to image, no. <laughs> I liked <laughs> so, it. Go so, with so, it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, oh, so, I own that, Jamie. So he's, due out, he's due out in December, apparently, before the end of this calendar year. And I've got the Fans Toys version, so I will do a comparison on this show when I have both of them and transform them in two minutes. Of course you will. Thanks for the wonders of editing. Pause the live feed. Edit, edit. <laughs> Pause the live feed. <laughs> right, so this is the, for me, this is the most exciting news of the week. And it's the um, news that's got the most traction online. And this is New Age Galvatron, uh, or Darius, we think it's going to be called. Uh, and the comparison between them and the fans' toys, uh, Galvatron, is um, there's not a lot in it. And in fact, when you compare the two, I think you're hard pushed to decide which one's the uh, Legends one. Um, Can I so, just say... Um... Can I just say that um, I would count it the odd this is the most exciting news with something that has just been shared into our news feed, which hopefully... Oh. But let's carry on with this until we get there. Oh, is, it, is it live news that's just come through? It it's is, live it news is. that's come through I've been hearing, I've been hearing to the us, courtesy of our roving reporter, Mr. RJ Callahan. Nice. I've, so, I've, I've shuffled it straight into our news. Brilliant. Board, so hopefully. So I, well, to I me, love... this was the most exciting news. And oh, it's still exciting because that's we, um, all, for... a hell of a good looking bot. Legends collectors and for Chug collectors, we've both been dying out, haven't we, for a really good yeah. Galvatron. We've mm. never really had one. I did quite like um, the Titans Return Galvatron. Thought he was all right. The head was a bit wanky. And I've got yeah. the Mech Fans Toys one, which is only like £12. Um, it's still yeah. Good. But for it's if you were to shit. Hope, yeah, it is. It's a placeholder. If you wanted one company, legends wise, to do a Galvatron, it'd be New Age. And fuck, look at that! Amazing. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a decent almost as well in comparison. Apart from he's... the name Darius, a yeah. Swap idol who came in <laughs> You know, a tap on the Scots subtly. Oh, I love Darius. He's what I love about this is, it, is, is it comes with a little keychain, so you can put, them to, put attach them to your keys as well. Look at that little chain there, so you can put them on your car keys and take it down the shops with you. With your mask on, of course, and social distance, <laughs> wankers. I hope it actually comes with it because Mech Fans Toys one was notorious for not coming with the chain for the Matrix. My one didn't have it. I'm over it, it's cool, move on. I'll get over it. I can tell. <laughs> you don't let it bother you. <laughs> Fuck you, Mech Fans yeah. Toys. Do you, know, do you know what I use? I use, you know, those, um, 
those little like um chains you can get with like the sweets on which used to eat and like it's a bit of string underneath which is a bit of elastic i used one of those i ate all the sweets off but one and use that around my galvatron as a matrix oh so you get a little treat and we have a little mm. sweet meal and then you uh, it's good. Double win. sort an issue out exactly so this was the silhouette this was a great can you no, guess what I it is yet this, this is go, go back go back go back so that's springer what and look there's a hands fucking... if there's one thing that winds me up about transformers when you can see their arms visible hand syndrome and it's got a massive hey, what hand sorry there. you can see his hand yeah 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 i can tell he's put his finger up at you as well for pointing out so well, i'm gonna quit collecting legends now <laughs> <laughs> So so horrified as you are. <laughs> so this is it's interesting. Another eat piece. <laughs> <laughs> that made me quit chug. I've got nothing left now. Have you got the original Springer? Because they released one already. Have you got the other one? No. So the other one's more IDW, mm. I think. Um, I don't know if you... I think you can see... So in the other one, you'll be pleasantly surprised that you can see the hands as well. So if I flick to the helicopter mode, so you get... The additional thing you get here is the uh, this this is different the bomb. missile yeah, and then the, the fact that the shoulders fold over. So the other one which you have, I'll I'll bring out after this if you want. I'll put a picture in. Sorry, edit, and um, I'll put them side by side. So you can see there's actually he doesn't have the folding over shoulders. So it's the other one. But again, here you have the hands here, and you can see the hands are exactly the same here. Oh yeah, very very so. similar to the the one. Interesting if you get a flight stand because you don't get a flight stand with them. Um, it looks some... very similar to the G1 figure in terms of how it transforms. If that's just mm. the arms folded up and out to the yeah. side, yeah, yeah. But it's annoying because the fans' toys, a lot mech fans' toys, do have transformers where their hands fold up and you hide them away. So it's something they do mm. do. Mm. They've just gone, ah, oh, fuck it for this one. They do. Just going to go back um, before we Maybe go on to the, big, well. the, big, the big news. There was one other bit which I want to share, which was just so. Did we show this last time? There's a, so um, Dr. Wu. It's starting releasing more, so there's a, now a miniature prime as well. So again, oh, we should have been paying you, not really start saying that doesn't look like paying Jimmy. You should have no, your mind as well. <laughs> yes, it's definitely a cliff jumper, that is. Um, so <laughs> if you again, if you, if you want more pictures of this, check out our Instagram feed, check out our Twitter feed for more images Isn't, and better. There's been some pictures of Soundwave as well, uh, in color they have as well. So again, if you check yeah. out our Instagram, check out our Twitter, you can check out those photographs as well. Nice. Um, and then we move on to this, is what came out today. So uh, the next line. Oh, of... looks awesome, doesn't he? Oh, there's yeah. more. There's more coming. So you've got uh, is it Air Razor on the far left. Can I zoom in? Beast Wars RC, which is just a re-release of the Earthrise version. So this is a falcon. It looks like a birdie. A bird is a word. Um, somebody will then... correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure he's called Air Razor. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because um, wasn't it like a couple of times? So I'm not sure, Bikes, you guys thought it was a new Beast Wars figure. Like, I know it was Alexis. And then some in the comic section um, corrected Alexis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, we, don't, we, don't, yeah. we don't talk to those We don't anymore. talk about that. Though. He'll edit that out now. I remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> you Alexis, don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Really Lisa, you... throws RC? No, it looks like a new one. Look at the shoulders. The shoulders look distinctly different there. Hey. Oh, it is. The backpack's hidden behind I the cardboard. Isn't, isn't, yeah, I was just going to say, isn't it just that the backpack is hidden behind the, <laughs> the cardboard? Because there's a little window you can see cut out. Yeah. What about the all mode on the packaging? Does that look different? Well, I mean, that's more more just the artist's impression, though, isn't it? So yeah, because it works it good there. Where's like a McDonald's exactly. toy? <laughs> do, you know what, do you know what, Paul? I An old trick from d I think they're trying to, I think they're trying to talk themselves out of having to buy another one. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's <laughs> <a> good <bolt. laughs> This is another one of those. Um, that looks horrendous. <laughs> what's, it, what's it called? <laughs> Fabulizer, fertilizer. What's Dead kill. Called? I don't know. Road that kills. Looks like Fossilizer. Fossilizer. That's it. Fertilizer. <laughs> that was close, wasn't I? <laughs> fertilizer. <laughs> 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 Keep going. Right. Is, is um, a good bar. No. Oh, there's the offer. Because if you don't, awesome. every, 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 they haven't had a huffer, have they? Because everyone uses Mac fans toys. With Legend Scale for yeah, uh, for Huffa, don't they? There's been Wars Huffa. Go, you need Which to go just to the next picture. Good. If we have, if we have the new it's Combino Wars, Wars Huffa look decent, like a good robot, not like the Huffa we all expect. <laughs> no, so okay, so the next picture. Oh, there he is in packaging. Yeah, the Huffmeister. Oh, he does look good. He'll yeah. Huff. He'll I can't Huff. believe that I'm sat here in 2020 and I'm actually excited about a Huffa figure. 
Life it looks like it comes with a nice gun as well. That weapon Andy, on the artwork. Andy. Oh, it looks like it'll be with Tyler and I make fans toys. And they're going to borrow some. Drop some of them. <laughs> and they need it. <laughs> but there's more. There's more. Oh. Not just not just the Huffmeister. <gasps> I think you've skipped past one there. Nope. I'll go back. I'll go to the net. This is the order that came in. There's Magnus in his Earth mode. Which cool. we're all assuming is just Siege Magnus. Is it? In Earth mode. Apparently, that's... That, that looks really good. Good. <laughs> yeah. no, I don't think that. <laughs> that is so good! There's, I love the how there's just like a good. disbelief that you've actually got a, a, a movie accurate Ultra Magnus from Hasbro. Although, that block behind the actual cab... Can't wait to get my shoulder Like his arms and shoulders looks those. at it. Post on my mm. Facebook for Andy to moan at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know it. Ooh. And of course, nobody could have predicted Inferno. Inferno, yes! <laughs> <laughs> nobody nobody expects Inferno. Ah, <laughs> this is together this with Smokescreen. Why, did, why wouldn't you expect it, Inferno? Just because uh, when Grapple came out, everybody went, well, they'll just re roll oh, yeah. that into Inferno. They, they slow rolled it, though, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they've taken the they time. They may make him a target they, they look, I knew that. I knew that. But then uh, he'll be the next uh, Earthrise thrust. I bet they won't make an I'm going to transform him in the next time you do 10 shots. Be, <laughs> he's the easiest <laughs> mode ever. Snap. <laughs> 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 oh, well, challenges on. <laughs> no. Brilliant. Is that for news? That's the news. Jamie's a man you can turn grapple into Snapdragon. <laughs> and on to pickups this week. Uh, Andy, do you want to go first? Yes, nothing. No th really? thanks to my Hermes. Screw them. Fuck you, anyway. my Hermes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, right, I've got you, some you may not carry So I'll start off with what I did pick up, which was, um, first of all, which is uh, Mechfans Toys Overlord. Uh, look at that box art. Some that big... photo you took made them look huge. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's not that big. Well, he's big for Legends. But, um, oh, I can compare him next to uh, Goldilocks. There you go. That's how big he is. Mm. Um, yeah, he was, he's been out for a while, but really good, really happy. This one, anything on factory nowadays is exciting. So I'm getting to the stuff which is getting harder to find. Uh, and I've got the uh, I, you know, Iron Factory EX03 uh, Sonic Tech and Fellows, which is Blaster. And what's exciting is the uh, Base Rhino and Leo Treble, which are the two um, guys that come mm. with him. They obviously do not fit inside his small chest cavity. They're huge, but they're oh, they're just like really nice, massive cassette transformers. Yeah, um, and he's not too bad either. So yeah, because really I think sometimes we can see That's what hard. happens when you try to sometimes make these things fit. You get a wee stumpy ravage, which yeah. ends up looking like a pit bull or, you know, and it, it comes with other stuff. It comes with gun platforms and stuff. It's all interchangeable. I love the um, purple there with the absolute gold on the rhino. He really does look That's cool. hard to find. That's I'm, I, Where'd you get that from, Havage? Was it eBay or was it one of the groups? That was eBay. Nice. And they Have were actually quite big cassette bots in the cartoon. Mm -hmm. I remember, you know, they would... Uh, have right. dice. How much was it? Uh, £45. Which I was... The Are you trying to back door again, Alexis, and seeing what you could undercut? Oh. <laughs> it's too late. It's in my collection. Yeah. No, I, I, I didn't even know that one was there because I mean, I you buy it really... 65 and you said, but, but you, let's, let's face it, you buy it for the tree, don't you? Because you've got um, Mech Fan Stories, you can get Magic Square Blaster, which is a more tune accurate blaster, but you buy it for the tapes. The tapes are really cool. Oh, amazing tapes. Uh, I've tape. got Iron Factory Perceptor, and he's a remold of Perceptor, or Perceptor's remold of him. Iron Factory uh, Perceptor. <laughs> That's Aww. the tape you get with Magic Square, <laughs> which do, do fit this, and they do fit this chest. <laughs> yeah, these ones definitely don't. My game. That's where they should stay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that, that one I was really happy with. I'm getting really excited to get the last couple of bits of Iron Factory. That one. Uh, then we've got a new thing, which is um, this is Magic Square uh, Makudo, Makudo, uh, and it is obviously RC. The uh, blood doll version. Peach Girl MS G01, and it's not as bad as Nice I was thinking. It looked like, do you know what it looked like? I thought it'd be really cool if Magic Square, one of my favorite toy companies ever, would do a line of like Funko Pops, but like collectible Transformers, and you can transform them, you can actually transform this. Um, but then it arrived, and look at the back, look at the bum. 
Uh, my wife was like, why have you got a, a pervert transformer? <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> exactly. You should it's buy the, that, um, was it, is, it the, is it the sexy RC thing? You nice should buy that next to me, yeah, uh, they see. And then go. Don't worry. We'll leave, right, we'll leave. We'll keep them in box. We'll I'm going to do an unboxing because it's only just come out. So a uh, quick unboxing. So you get that, that's the box. Uh, there she is. <laughs> you she box comes pervert, with, what are you doing? <laughs> I like pretending I'm Doing style. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, it comes picture. with a Magic Square collector's card. Uh, yep, yep, still really rude. Um, and then, <laughs> you got big earrings. Oh god, she comes with a gun and a tiny sword. I've got some pictures. I can show the pictures. Uh, you can actually see pictures. professional with pictures. Now, it's not the artwork, is it? Uh, no, these are my own pictures. Is, can, you haven't taken the better view. How do you do that, Boris? You're going to have to teach me how to do that. I just That's aperture. So just um, use a, a, a wide aperture uh, to do that, to blur the background. I don't even know what those words mean. <laughs> you've got, so if, you, if you've got an iPhone, so, like that, so an iPhone 10 and above do that with portrait mode. Yeah, they're able to massively blur the background. Yeah, they do uh, that. Samsung do it as well. Yeah. Uh, so and it's uh, aperture. Aperture, yeah, but the, the the phones won't do it. You can only do it on the camera, but a camera phone will blur the background. Yeah, but it won't do through aperture. Have you transformed her? Yes. Let's have a look at her in her transform mode. That's her transformed. Cool. It's all right. When you look at the product shots, you can't. Can you see the bit where the seat is? You don't see any of that, and it's really it's full of junk and stuff it doesn't look good it doesn't look like a seat at all there's no steering wheel the outside looks cool um so i'm guessing most people just buy her for this sort of mode but it does transform. How, how much was she how much was she roughly 20 pounds Do you, are you gonna buy more of them uh oh, you know what, I, I was until i saw the box art and then i think it's probably just gonna be her and then i can imagine a cheeky wing blade coming out uh, if they'd done other Transformers, uh, yeah, I probably would. I'd pick some more up. But um, I, I would actually, for £20, pounds, it's definitely worth picking up. It's a good transformation. It's not too bad. It's intuitive. Um, it's grey. That's the bit which annoys me a bit. Can you see how grey she is rather than... Uh -huh. To me, I think she should be whiter than that. I'm not trying to westernise her, but... <laughs> I didn't even take quite that. She's very grey. <laughs> no, no, that's another thing Jamie would normally pick up. On. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's really, really grey, which is a bit odd. But um, yeah, I'm still happy with her. She's going in the collection. Uh, and that's Ha Stop Shah. Right, who would like to go next? Do I go, Jay? Shall I go? Uh, I'll, I'll go. Um, I didn't really get much this week at all. Um, what I did get was um, Tarn. Which I've actually still to transform, nice. so kind of looking forward to getting them. And um, to be honest, when I was, you know, looking at it, you know, it does look much more like a display piece. You know, I was a bit disappointed to the wheels. There's no wheels underneath the tracks. You know, for the tank mm. mode, so you know it doesn't go along. You know, and sort of sort of scrape along the top of your table. You know, and it, and it kind of, kind of kills the sound effects you make. You know, when you go. You know, because you're literally scraping this thing there. And and there's a lot of bits which is, you know, rough marks. I mean, very nice, sharp, clear, clear cut finishes, you know, very nice paint work, you know. But then there's other bits you see which, you know, where it's been a bit rough, the plastic, where, you know, there's a lot of um, excess flesh, as they call it, you know, which kind of spoils it. Especially when you think you're paying about 109 quid for this. You know, especially the B issue. You know, but I'll see what it's like when I transform it eventually. But you know, it's a good size. It's about the same size as the tank of Super Megatron that just came out for the chug. And um, yeah, and I'm really delighted to actually have a turn. So much so, I'm starting to think about collecting the rest of his friends. And I did say to oh. me, like, you know, I'm thinking about this, and it's going to be very expensive, Melin. So I'm just pre-warning you now. Oh. The reason the that robot you, mode um, is what you buy that for, though. Yeah, That's I was gonna say the, the reason. The reason he doesn't have the wheels underneath Jay because I've got I've I've spoiled it. I've got him in my pickups this week. I, sh I can show you. I've got him in robot mode. Is I think when he transforms, is that 
his um the treads become his shoulders so if you had wheels underneath it would be quite evident that you want him obviously as you said to be complete in robot mode if you had the wheels you'd see wheels sticking out underneath of his arm under, under his arm sort of thing yeah yeah i mean i can understand that's why i said you know it's more like a display piece yeah i still would have liked you know even if they somehow could have operated that and even have wheels like they do for one of the sort of like um the military box tanks you know for Bruticus, um where they have the wheels more like in the chest but not in natural mm -hmm. tracks that way it gives the illusion as if it can move or something like it that definitely could do that you know but you, you know it comes you know in its nice box with the the wonderful instructions which i think i managed to leave downstairs you won't need yes, that. I have. It's very, it's very easy to transform, mate. Oh yeah, but it's, it's because it has a little, you know, they have obviously hired a comic artist, you know, and they have a little comic, you yeah. know, so they put in a lot of effort. MMC, you know, it's like a, it's almost like the Takara, you know, um, Legends, which used to get, yeah. you know, you, you see. I mean, I, I'm not a third party collector, and and I, and I don't class this as a third party. I class this as chug. Almost going to third party, but still keeping this mm. sort of chug um, ethos, and that's why I quite like it and I, I, I quite love it. And the fact it can fit in quite well with the line, and uh, I love Tarn, which is quite good because I didn't turn to me, he's like a new Decepticon. I didn't really know him at all from the old Transformer UK comics. That's one character I've been introduced for IDW, and I think he's absolutely fantastic. And he's he is He's bunch of that, suicidal, homicidal maniac fans. He is new in that. That's that's where he's from, isn't he? he yeah, he was yeah. created for the IDW yeah. comics. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't, and I yeah. think the, the, I mean, I give IDW a hard time, especially with, with the new comics, which are very bad just now. But um, yeah, that's a class character, which are um, bad, but hopefully just a bad, maybe not just dull. Hopefully, it picks up. He's a bit like Impactor and Emirate Zaron, where they've been created in the comics rather than created as a toy. So I guess yeah. it makes it harder to do the alt mode. I, Generally, yeah. I find that IDW alt modes are just are a little bit lazy in the grand scheme of things. So if you look at the all the alt modes in IDW, it's it, I can't I can't pick one in particular that does transform into because they're all I suppose they're all meant to be like sort of like alien space modes or whatever but they all just i mean uh, one of the oh, blue streak was was it, who, who is it right? chrome dome chrome dome just puts his arms out and they uh, wheels on the end you know i don't like the chrome dome i know a lot of people no, do no. i probably get slated for it but it looks to me like he's suffering from pistol and so it's G1, like that. he's been on an atkins diet or something that's the thing like, they had the really good futuristic g1 version mm. right okay so did you have anything else sir that's all for me and to be honest i, I mean I've it's been a big a busy week for me anyway so yeah right before we go on to jamie we're going to go to our regular fans toy section so this is a section where we go to fans toys masterpiece uh, facebook group i choose a heading and i replace the picture and uh, jamie and andy uh, and sometimes lexus have to guess what the transformer this gentleman is talking about and i've, I've blurred his name out um because I didn't want to offend him. So, right, here we go. So, hopefully, just tell me if you can see this. That Irish guy, <laughs> there's Lyman. There we go. So, our fans, toys, must be group. When the mailman makes you happy and Des Lynam's ultimate sports challenge has turned out. But what Transformers are you talking is it, about? Is is it a fans toys figure? It is. It's always fans <laughs> right. toys. That's going to be Cause slightly more difficult because I don't, I don't know what fans toys I don't toys know which one it is. I'm having to think. <laughs> to be fair, I can't remember either. But um, what? I have got it on the makes you happy. Des Lynam's so got When the real man makes you happy, Des Lynam's ultimate sports challenge. Who could it be? Any guesses? Uh, I mean, any... I, I don't get it. How are we meant to guess out of our potential? <laughs> I'm thinking... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think of some new releases. Astro Train? Could it be Astro Train? Phoenix? Could be Astro Train. Phoenix. Could, Could be, be anyone, Phoenix. can it? Could it be that purple potato? <laughs> Let's have a look for purple just... potato. Oh, I don't know it is. It, what, so the clue is, am I right in saying the clue is Des Lynam's, the, is the, fit, the picture, right? No, Not the, mail, the, mail, the, mail, the mailman piece is just a bit of a, 
a red hanger is it's the actual image, isn't That's it? That's what the um I, I don't think there is a clue to what it is. I think it just says when the mailman makes you happy and then we've got a picture of Des Lynam's ultimate sports challenge for laughs. Should we have a look? <laughs> right. And it was Road King. Oh, <laughs> Road King. Road King Motor Monster. That old side dog. <laughs> How could I not know that? Look, can you see? <laughs> look, see? See? Can you no. see? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what? There's a picture. Wait a minute, one of them's a tennis player. <laughs> There's a tennis player. player in there. <laughs> yeah, but there's Lynam. <laughs> and a sprint. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, no, exactly how <laughs> They're both keen. Oh, remind me never to go to they're your quiz. Oh, teams. that was brilliant. They're both I loved teams. every moment of that. I look forward right. to next week. You should have put some oh, image of kings in a void. <laughs> That's what you should have done. King in the background in a void. You want to do what? Sorry, <laughs> want to fuck Siege Shockwave. Want to find. <laughs> That's not a phrase. <laughs> and they put sperm dripping in the, as their background. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even see that. that. that I want you. to give him a shower. Give me oh, a shower. Dear. You know, we can fit in an old day. I would say up. something like the ground to swallow me up right now, but you'll just make that into sexual in the window as well. <laughs> you just done that. <laughs> <You know>? Anyway. <laughs> Shall I go next? Go for it. That's what she said. <laughs> did you get did you get your way with Siege Shockwave or Um I found one online for forty five brand new. Really? So the end. No. That's really yeah, good. it's from America, thirty pounds and then feel fourteen pound delivery, I think it said. So, um, I feel like IDW for off me this week. Um, I'll start with an MMC, actually. So, I'll start with the easy one, Tarn. I've got MMC Tarn. So, transformed him. Um, so, you can see, Jay, what I mean about the... If you had it on these bits. These bits are not so bad. Mm, yeah. um, but on these bits, you can see here. But he's a very easy transformation, to be honest. Um, there you go. But I've, I thought... I, I compared him. I've got my little one here. My I mean, I've actually figures. already got four MMC figures. So they are very similar. He is Do you decent. want to hit me now? I was almost um, a little bit underwhelmed by him in comparison because he's, he's the first one everyone got. And I think I've been sort of building up to him. And um, I think the big ones are the bright ones to build up to, really. In my, But if you're going to go for them, Jay, the big ones are stupid money. Um, so That's why I told me when she should base herself for, you know, a <laughs> <Brace> <laughs> Yeah. I might be getting the rest of a meal in. You know, it's going to be expensive. I love the idea that she just braced. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hold on to something tight. Same <laughs> with no MMC. I got <laughs> MMC... Food is overrated. <laughs> I got MMC Elysia. So what I've decided to do now, stupidly, is I've decided to go all in now on buying a separate line for my IDW characters. I think there's enough IDW characters out there in molds that if you wanted to, you could have your MP figures, you could have your Legend figures, and you could have your chug size IDW figures as well. So I thought MMC Elysia, she's a good size height. I wanted something slightly different. So it's not the like the G1 color scheme. It's a slightly off one. So here she is against Fans Toys Rouge. You can see definitely chug size in the grand scheme of things. And her car mode, which I will not transform because I'm not transforming this one back ever again. That is... So this thing here was so hard. All right to get into car mode. Can I get back? And this, this, these shoulder bits here, they're striking each other. It's the hardest thing there to get back in. But the, the, the benefit of getting it back now is actually much more secure and stable than they were before. So before they were fluffy. Yeah. And now they're actually quite secure in place. So I'm quite happy. Um, this thing is a bit of a dream. It's very easy to transform. I'm actually very impressed with car mode. Very dainty in the grand scheme of things. But it's really good. Um, so I'm going to lay her down because she doesn't snap very well. But I will... Um, so staying on that theme as well, because I went to Kapow and Kapow did me a good deal uh, with Elysia. Or I've got MMC's Megatron as well. So this is a sort of tank jet thingy. Um, and for comparison, I've got the MMC version of Hot Rod. I think they pair together in some car in some of the comics, which I haven't got to just yet. Um, so I won't, I won't transform them just yet. I might transform them a bit later if there's a bit of a gap. Yeah, I've still to transform Super Megatron as well. So he comes in robot mode, so I've transformed him into this mode here, so you can see his head under there. But what I thought was Your jet mode looks much better than the jet mode of Super Megatron. I don't know if it's because it's the way it's packaged, but it doesn't look that convincing to me. Um, it's okay. I actually thought it was yours. No, your jet mode's yours. much better convincing. I just... I, I thought yours was actually. No. I thought yours was a Megatron. I actually been looking at Super Megatron looking at that. Super Megatron's it, good, but uh, the yeah. MMC Tarantron one is, is, is yeah. nice. So they might... I thought I'd show this because he actually comes with a completely separate um, 
uh, attachment here for his drill. So that's a different gun, which he mount, which he can mount onto himself as well. So you can yeah. see it. On you can turn him into the, the minor version of him, can't you? Yeah. So you can turn him into into this version here. So you can, so the chest plate, the chest plate can come off, um, the gun can come off as well. He comes with the mace. So a little bit like the Iron Factory version of the Megatron as well, which I, I want to have in that sort of original mode. I'm going to have him in my, in my sort of origin mode. So because of that now, I've decided to actually order, because I've I sort of looked at the height of him. He is eight inches, Megatron is seven inches. So depending on what you want, scales in the eye of the beholder. Um, I've it's ordered the MMC version. <laughs> Get <laughs> <Shut> a <up>. <laughs> 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 we all know the cats official place I've ordered, I've ordered, I've ordered um, MMC oh. packs, which is their version. So I thought I'd have, I have Origin Prime and Origin Megatron and IDW. I thought that's quite cool in that sort of thing. Um, last IDW reference for me, because um, if you remember, I said about the um, they've got the IDW Prowl being re released by G Creations. So I've, I've ordered. I got this guy here, which is he's called Dust. He's just come out, so I'll try and do. Some images of him. I'll try and transform. He's, he's really panelly. He's really hard to transform into this mode. It's just trying to get things to tab in in the right place. And I know, um, so I know there were frustrations. I think with the, their version of Prime. So for example, I can't quite tab in the front here because you don't want to just because this is such a shiny paint job. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Mm. It's chromed out and it really, it really Who pops in the light. Who did you show last week? Him. Did I show him last week? Yeah. Oh fuck it! By the way, it was on my desk. I just um... <laughs> here we go again. He's on my desk. <laughs> <Such a lie. laughs> um, I thought. I oh, know. Paul's... He's been oh, no. so no, no. Paul asked about G Creations. I just wanted to show. This is what I think is the best oh, version okay. of Six Shot. Um, so you've got G Creations Fuma. He's quite rare, um, which is IDW Six Shot. Um, and he's a, he's a big boy. He's so, he's got rubber tires. Um, he comes with his his samurai swords that he comes with actually are pretty sharp. He actually comes with katana as well. So you can see <coughs> if you can see in in this picture here, he's actually holding a katana. Um, yeah. So they got so his, his fingers are so poseable, and you can you can pose him on one leg doing all sorts of shit. I think his robot in. mode is amazing considering it's got six different modes. But I would love it if they just released him. Just in two modes. I don't know. It doesn't make right. sense. But lovely to have one good mode, one bad, uh, one good alt mode. What alt mode should you choose? Um, well, I like his wolf form. His wolf form's really good. Yeah, good yeah. And his tank, his tank form at the top there, really I good. I just love that um, scene in the rebuff. It's the only time we I got to see him because oh, obviously yeah. I never watched the Japanese cartoon when he took out the aerial bots. Yeah. yeah. So, Although they gave him like a kind of just a rough gunslinger voice instead of the yeah. uh, kind so of cyber ducks in a barrel or something. Yeah. yeah. It comes like hidden mode as well. In a barrel, six up, six down. <laughs> hidden mode, and you can see his sort of like katana and stuff here, and like ninja stuff, and his chest open. So he's, he's pretty cool. So I've never, I've never sold him. I always just packaged him up because I've always wanted to keep him. Okay, he was just one of my favourites, so I never wanted to get rid of him because he's quite hard to come by now. Um, he devalues. So you, if you like him, Paul, you can get him for about one hundred and twenty quid if you're lucky. I mean, oh, I'm glad. Like I, I waited until I got the reissue of Tarn because I think it was a lot of people were starting to sell Tarn for like yeah. the original about one sixty, one seventy. Yeah. Um, really? God, I hadn't seen that. Max Fans up. Toys way over a hundred pounds. Should sold mine. <laughs> Max Fans Toys Hound. Ah, oh, cool. He looks cool. So, He's pretty good. So he was the I last like person. Two G one E, but that looks actually all right. He was the last one of my um my art crew that I didn't get, so I ordered him. Um, so he's all right. Yeah, he was like he was like seventeen quid, eBay job. Um, and I got um cup as well. So I got cup and oh. um cup comes with his little do. He's made fans of his was one of the earlier ones. He came with his little drone thingy, which I think that's the best. But I got him into, which is pretty weird. So they're decent. They transform quite well. I haven't scaled them yet next to the other ones. Um, but artwork, I know you guys appreciate that. It was quite cool that on the box art here, it looks like it's the planet from uh, IDW. It mm. looks like, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. With this mm. like, crazy planet. So that's pretty cool. And then you've got, on this side here, you've got him with the records, it looks like. MFT. It is from um, IDW, isn't it? That, that picture. Yeah, do they just, yeah, do they just... Use... It looks like they've ri just ripped it out. Yeah, it looks like they have that. I mean, they don't care. Or paid homage to it, Andy. Homage. Yes. That is yeah, like that. That, that's, that's from IDW, that Overlord picture that uh, Paul showing off. Yeah. Homage yeah, do to IDW. Homage. <laughs> 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 but they're new stuff. They don't. They generate. They've got their own um, 
make fan stories. You, the, the, the one their latest releases, Astro Chain, they're actually doing their own. I think because they put more effort into the mold and it's more there rather than copying other people's. They've done their own uh, designs on it. Yeah, the cup is an upscale version of um, DX9. Mm. The hound's the original mold. Um, he doesn't have any. He's got the G1 artwork on the back. He sort of imposing Megatron as a, as a to tease, tease um, Ravage there. Um, and he comes with a Great sniper. Giving away well. keys. <laughs> exactly that. He's so, a key giver. Um, yeah, so they're my pickets of the week. Nice. Splendid. Right, on to Rohan's corner. So, Rohan, take it away. to Rohan's Corner and as teased earlier this week on my pickups video today I'm doing a Transformers review of RZB01 Freedom of Pillar so here he is in his robot mode and he is of course a generation 1 cartoon accurate Optimus Prime he comes just with the cab only no trailer and he stands pretty well. He's got really good articulation and posability, so you can put him in a multitude of different poses. It's pretty clean all the way around. You can probably just see here. I've got a few issues with him, some sprue marks some stress marks on the antennae which have come from transformation and a few other little niggles around nothing major but um yeah a few little bits in terms of the packaging uh i didn't get any it comes in a sort of a jiffy pop little can um plastic can which i didn't bother to import um, he does come with some accessories so I will show those off for you now he comes with his iconic generation 1 blaster which he can hold in fact he comes with two of those so you can put one in either hand if you wish to do so there you go he also comes with his iconic or the meets the eye axe and one fist with a pointing finger. Now, as you can see, it's black and his current fists are blue. So there's his pointing fist, the ax. First off, here we have Netflix Megatron and you can see Prime actually is about half a head height taller than him. I've also got here Generation 1 Starscream and he's quite significantly taller than Starscream. Don't know if that's accurate, you tell me. I have here Earthrise Prime and RZB01 is probably about the same height as Earthrise Prime, maybe a tad taller, but his shoulders are definitely much taller. Here we have some third party comparisons. Both of these figures, in my opinion, are taller and don't really stack up with RZB01. Power of the Prime's Outback, Earthrise, Ironhide and Prowl, and I think they scale quite nicely. He's not the hardest thing to transform. He comes with a terrible instruction manual, which is just a bit of paper, nothing on the back, about 12, 15 steps. Not particularly clear. Um, it's not difficult, but it is a bit fiddly and definitely there are bits which, um, which will get stuck on. So 
Without further ado, the first thing is to move his shoulders out and you have to do this carefully by holding the shoulders otherwise his arm just pops off because that's the way it's been designed. So to put it back in, pull the shoulder out, move them back around. we have Prime in his vehicle mode. Looks okay. From the side view, you can see there's a hinge up here which makes it look a little bit non-straight. Uh, but overall, it's pretty decent. Actually works quite well with the Earthrise trailer. Obviously, it doesn't hitch. But you can see. Posability-wise, he has got loads and loads of joints but the really funny interesting thing is you can just pop everything off and pull them to pieces so here we go you can pull the arms apart pull the shoulders apart the head actually is quite funny he pops his helmet off and then the head can come off and take the chest apart legs come apart and I think this is one of the uh, things they had in their scene from City of Steel. So in City of Steel, you had Prime's arm on a large building attacking the other bots. You can reenact that if you wish to do so. So final thoughts overall, I really enjoy him. He's quite a cool, fun Prime. And aesthetically, he looks fantastic in robot mode for me. There's a lack of detail pretty much everywhere, as you can see. It's a very clean look that they've gone for. Um, there's a little bit of panel detail here on the legs and on the painted work on the on the waist here. The chest is quite good on the uh, grill, but overall it's, it's lacking definitely in comparison to your Earthrise and your MP style um, product, even against Legends, to be honest with you. But overall, I think I'd give him a solid three out of five stars. Definitely recommend him to anyone who loves that tune accurate look and wants to put him in their chug display. So thank you very much for joining me for another week on Rohan's Corner. Hope you've enjoyed it. Back to the studio. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, it's WTF to that. LMAO, <laughs> lick my ass out. So can I just drop a bomb here, right? Fuck all you guys over. Uh, <laughs> right. What do you think, Alexis? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Are they Transformers? I got, I got one word for you. Quintesson. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, but the Quintesson. Oh, he does transform. Yeah, yeah. Transforms. Yeah, transforms into a little prison cell. And now one at a time. <laughs> now, they <laughs> meant so on YouTube. <laughs> no, 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 no. They, 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 no, they've done. They've, they've altered him. They made him parts for me. But the original Quintesson. Just because the cartoon didn't show it, didn't mean they couldn't do it before. So Smith okay. made a really good <laughs> point. <laughs> Shall we? So if it's called a Transformer. It's a Transformer. And that's but the, you the, got the, the, the way you get, you, the, got... you get confused is because the transformer is like an adjective, isn't it? Something transforms. That's an adjective, whereas transformer is a noun. It's calling something. So it's not an action as such, he was saying. And I kind of agree, I kind of agree with it a bit. I, don't, I would never really collect uh, many transformers that don't transform because that's one of my favorite bits. I love the, it's kind of like a puzzle. Uh, it's in just the thought of getting that into two really good modes. And that's our, you know, that's the, um, the, chosen country isn't it the where you want to get to is a transformer that's an amazing robot and an amazing alt mode with a good transformation they're the top three three things i look for and i can't look for that if it's just a transformer and also do you think that we're scarred by action masters because i remember them coming in i was 10 or 11 or 12 i was just getting to that stage where i started listening to good bands like blur and shit bands like oasis and getting out <laughs> of <laughs> I was putting those posters up and taking my Transformers and just... Agreed, agreed, agreed. Um, We're going to get into a whole other debate now about Blue and Oasis, and this could go on all night. Action <laughs> Masters oh, coincided exactly shit. with my coming out of Transformers. Blur for the soft southerners and Oasis for the world. Anyway, go on. Great band, Oasis. <laughs> uh, and um, four, four Chords, wasn't it? They'd done two albums on... Just the yeah, four chords. And, um, and so... millions and billions more records sold, but carry on. <laughs> Still got number one with Country House. Country indeed. And isn't isn't the um was it no, aren't they, aren't they, isn't the least singer still singing on now for that animation band? Quite uh, he was Gorillas, Damon yeah. Alden you're talking about, yeah. yeah. We're going into a we really are going into a different debate. <laughs> so and they didn't the transform. Was. Oh no, they did transform. He transformed quite well actually. When we think us Gorillas. for when we think of non-transforming transformers, we think of action masters where we were. Some of us were coming out of transformers, and it kind of. Mm. I remember getting and going like, oh, I've still got him, action master, um, blaster, and he's a great transformer. He's not a transformer. He doesn't transform, but I still like his backpack, his accessory that he comes with. I didn't hate it, but it kind of that came out, and in my mind, it's that came out, and then Beast Wars came out, which I had no affiliation to at all. I didn't like it that they were organic animals. There was a bit of a gap there, wasn't Transformers. there? Because action masters were like the death knell of Transformers, mm. where they'd run out of ideas. So but they, they, came, they went along with G.I. Joe. They copied, they I loved they Micro Masters. Master, they? I thought, oh, they copied G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe was still fairly popular in America, so they went, mm. right, well, people want a posable action figure rather than a, a Transformer. <laughs> so they made them. the characters <laughs> posable action figures. Yeah. Well, they were supposed posable. to be posable. They were supposed to have lots of points of articulation. Yeah, the legs fell obviously off. now, but yeah, well, they were crap. I mean, and that's <laughs> that's the problem. And then we, of course, largely we we kind of didn't really like the G one kind of disappeared. We got G one point five here in Europe and some of the certain other parts of the world, but America didn't get any of that because they felt like Transformers were needed a break or whatever. And then, like you said, Beast Wars came in. So you've got that whole thing with Action Masters where you kind of look down on them because they came in at the end and. And people kind of. I wonder like, if that sullies my opinion of them. Have you seen oh, the I new ones know. though? Have you seen the new ones which are out? So you got you got the red ones. The, the red ones. ones. That, the red ones. But have you seen the series seven, the Super Seven Transformers? So yeah, I wasn't impressed by them. They look. They look more like the the actual late eighties, early nineties. They're masters. seventy-five quid each. How so much? Megatron and Prime. Seventy. I looked on Kapow. Just look at Google or TF Source. Seventy-five pounds each. So the, I think the only gimmick they have is you can take their chest off to reveal their their naked body, which in essence yeah, Shockwave. I'm not interested. So <laughs> it's I'll pay double for that for Shockwave. <laughs> oh, the one know. I purple. <laughs> but yeah, the thing is, like, I guess with Transformers, though, is like I look at Pretenders, and one of the best gimmicks was in the shell, which was the non-transforming part. And I think I mean, sometimes with Transformers, it's like having that gimmick and. 
and if it can work with the figure somehow or they can make it work but the core figure itself can transform and in some ways it's like um, you can have like the robot form and just have the head be the transformer part you know and to me I guess I would say it's still a transformer it doesn't mean it's a transformer I would buy for or choose to buy because I still as Paul said that half the fun is being able to transform it mm. and discover that and it's about a character which you have a connection with through the comics, the cartoon, or the movies. And the thing is, when the Power Masters, um, Action Masters came in, the comics were dying, and the Action Master story was a bit diabolically awful. You yeah, know? Nuclear, nuclear and then they decided to chuck transform. it because it was so bad, didn't they? And then they went back to, we can transform again. Did Thank Action Masters make it into the comics? Yeah, yeah, because of nu Nucleon. That's yeah. why they couldn't transform Grimlock was trying to save the Dinobots and he went and he was warned. I remember there was a freaky robot that warned him about what would happen, or at least not what would happen, but that dire things would happen if they used Nucleon. And he took Nucleon and it gave him this incredibly powered up mode, but he couldn't transform anymore. Yeah. So they got rid of that idea pretty quick and it went back to being Transformers. So I guess when people think of Transformers, it's like those high articulated models. And I think it's what some people said of other companies are doing at Hasbro legitimately I said, but they can't transform. I don't know how true that is. It's yeah. only hard to go to carry it, sorry to make them transform. Yeah, I've heard that. And there is, um, oh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're doing like high level and licensed transformers, which are hundreds of pounds, which the look amazing. Ones, yeah, like the, the, tarn, the, the, the That's tarn it, one, yeah. they, which is the only official tarn, and it's cost about 350 pounds so or something. If you collect like these toys, like, uh, and you don't transform your Transformers a lot. And the non-transforming, high-end Transformers looks better than the fans' toys. Why wouldn't you get the the, the one which doesn't transform? It depends what you want for the representation of the figure, though, doesn't it? Mm. Do you just want something that, for the robot, or do you want something for that actually has two modes? If you Definitely. just want the robot, go for the high-end figure. Yeah. The perspective, the, the Optimus Prime, the Bumblebee Prime that I... I'll put a picture. I up. just think there's <laughs> that I've got right transformers. That was ninety percent of them don't transform their transformers. No, because it yeah, it's mm. gonna break it. But that, so that bumblebee, that bumblebee version, the toy world version, was um, two hundred pounds, and you saw my transformer. And it's, it doesn't have in properly. It's nothing to do with where I transform it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> I'm sure, not it's me not. at all. Not me. It's not me at all. Um, I haven't seen what. It's it's so, yeah, yeah. So if I, if I read the instructions and watched the video, then maybe I could get it to go in properly. But I did it off off my own bat. And I did quite well, just like you know, school of fucking new tadpole or whatever. Anyway, but the point is, you can get, you can get, you can get the free A version, which is the uh, official Bumblebee version, uh, fully articulated. It's about the same size, does the same gimmicks, likes all the rest of it, for two hundred pounds as well, just over two hundred and ten. So if you want one which actually is going to look the part in that sort of mode and doesn't transform and is 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 more articulated, holds its guns properly, that's the version. I was, you know lulled him i wanted one which actually did transform um and i've done the same thing about that, that zeta bumblebee as well because i want one day i want to just it might be i want to just flick it back and forth i have it on my shelf in that mode because i don't know i mean i think we all admire both modes i think every time that we, it's very most time when we commit to a transformer we both we all seem to admire a mode and i, mm. I don't know about you i like to appreciate it in a mode for a period and then flick it into the other mode and then maybe you know if i enjoy it, i miss it sort of thing like i did with um fans always quieters flick it back again and go oh you know what that's a good mode and i just leave it like that yeah. so i can just it just wouldn't be as impressive would it i mean to me it's like you know i enjoy the gimmick of it being able to transform it's like that imagination and mm. and if you're showing it off to someone who might have no idea why a grown man is having something like this and you go but it can transform it changes into something else you know, and then they go, show me, and you go, I do not entertain, I'm not a lap dog, but, <laughs> you know, but, um, you, liar. you show them every time. You know, and then you go, oh, okay, just give me two hours. <laughs> 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 I was going to say, when Alexis was saying, you just flicked between modes, I was hey, thinking, hey, hey, over hey. the course of several hours. Our, our, our fans, <laughs> only fans, get their money's worth, mate. Fucking hours yeah. of fun. But, yeah, and, I, yeah, I think that's the thing, isn't it? It would just be like collecting dolls. If they didn't transform, and mm. I don't, and that just doesn't have the same appeal to me. 
everybody has the right to, to, to collect whatever they want to collect. Yeah. But I, I do get your point. To me, sometimes I think non-transforming Transformers, you, you're just going down that really highly collectible, high-end action figure line. Because they, you know, most action figures, they don't transform, obviously, but just representation of the character. So it really depends on what you want. But it's when people get really heated about the arguments and start having a go at each other, you know, and yeah. people say, if it doesn't transform, it's not a transformer, you can't call it a transformer. Well, if it's licensed by Hasbro particularly, and <laughs> it's got, you know, so, yeah. I think we discussed it before and everything else, it's a transformer. We discussed it before when... It's a representation. Um, so, so Hasbro Takara, the only um, vendor in the world that are legally allowed to have a transforming robot... This is the reason. Surprise! Are allowed to as well. Flame, by flames, the way. Yeah, flames, flames, toys, free A, bots. all the other ones. Yeah, with um, red rescue bots. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Who's yeah, the tra well, they're, trans they're transformers, aren't they? They're transformers rescue bots. They're labelled as transformers rescue bots, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they are still so, Hasbro. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. So, but no one else is allowed. To, that's why you never see. You will never see unless it's released by Takara, Hasbro, or Fisher Price. Fuck off, Paul. <laughs> you never, you'll never see a transforming robot in that. Maybe genre. Fisher Price do a shockwave, Alexis. So. <laughs> My first shockwave. <laughs> oh, <fuck's sake. laughs> I probably, should, I probably should set a post damage, shouldn't I? I got... <laughs> Is it still, it's still up? up? Why would you not take it down? Have you at least edited it? It says I want no, to fuck no. Soundwave. <laughs> Want to find? Yeah, but no one says that. Like, that's, that's not a thing. I said that. WTF means want, like, want to buy. What oh, I, 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 <laughs> I, thought, I was thinking what I did. I thought, is it want to be a uh, WTF? Why would it be you want should to do a video of you? For, in a, uh, for, we're, not, we're getting off the point here now. We shouldn't be. What uh, does LMAO stand for? Love my fucking ass off. <laughs> that's LMFAO. What does uh, LOL mean? Lots of love. <laughs> I just want to check them all out with you before. Lots of love. Lots of love. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Lots of love for Shockwave. Lols. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what ruffle means? Rolling on the floor <laughs> laughing. What do you think it means? <laughs> <laughs> I think it means time to end the show. I think it's time to end the show, mate. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> love you. Um... So I think the general consensus there was that there is plenty of room in the Transformers universe. I would never cast aspersions on someone who loves Transformers that don't transform. Um, the I guess the massive part is it's like Transformers the movie. That's not a Transformer. I love that. Um, all the IDD, IDW comics, you can still live all that through a, a model and a, um, a toy. So um, cool. Right, that is it from us. Um, Alexis, what is the Instagram? Transformers the show. Jaws, Jamie, what's the uh, yeah, sure, UK, cool. that's for Twitter, brilliant. Um, if you go to Facebook, hit TFUK or uh, TFUK Transformers the Show, we are there, and we will see you next week. Au revoir. <laughs> <Snap. laughs> oh, Challenges on, <laughs> no. brilliant. Is that it for news? That's the news, Jamie. Hey, man, you can turn grapple into Snapdragon. <laughs> <laughs> right let's go straight into uh pickups so first i'll of all, go first i was going to do a review <laughs> <laughs> you can go first if you want. i i only, I only want to do this just because no, I, I like a little, it's, it's, nice, it's nice just to help me edit if there's a <laughs> little pause in between we do stuff just so i can just find that gap and then oh should all i right, just edit tomorrow well i'll just pause <laughs> <laughs> right, all you, you have to look for when you go to the, uh, the pickups is it's the end of the news yeah so it's and really easy just... to find. You just fast forward. No, I, I like a little. Stuff. I like a little lull. I was giving you a lull. Are we going back no, into no, it. No, then? no, 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 not lull. Lull. <laughs> no, no, Andy, that's not it. That's just don't, don't, don't. Fine. Right. Are we ready to? Who's in? Who's doing the intro? You guys you don't need to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what happens, Jamie. No <laughs> excuse. I can say you guys. Sam, Sam, my fucking boy. Jamie and Alexis. Right. He's um... talking to his Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even talking to us. He doesn't even know we're here. <laughs> we, we're just the voices in his head. <laughs> right. So right, we go. Three, two, one.